and uh, I guess we're back. I so I'm gonna play Spirit today. I just wanted to. I don't know. There's just sometimes where you're like, I want to play X Y Z. You know? You ever get that feeling? I don't know if survivors do. I know when I play survivors, some days you're like, oh man, I want to play. I want to have a toolbox and all that. I think. What the hell? Ooh, that was kind of sketch. Not gonna lie. No, earlier today I was playing like a uh, live and all that. You know, dance with me live the whole nine. She knows my devour hope place. Great. Now we got a killer. Yeah, she just ran. Well played. My settings probably should be better on my amp, but oh well. Yeah, I was gonna say, someone's around here. I forgot I'm running, uh, shoot, I don't know what I, I usually just call it Hex Booby Trap or something. Because I can't remember what it's called. She's going to do that, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry fam. I'll remember what it's called here in a bit. I don't know, I gotta give props to like anyone that can do com live commentary while playing, especially live stream. I'm just not good at it. But then again, this isn't like I'm doing it to do it, it's more of like, I just wanna vent, I wanna talk. You know? There you go. Like, I also wanna show proof that I'm like, I'm good at something. I'm good at a game. I shouldn't have vaulted that. So bad. That's fine. It's gonna go up. Got him. They're still down there. That's fine. You can hear him. I'm gonna hook him back in the center. Pick the drone. You know. Probably get some more commentaries on more casual game. I don't know. I don't. I don't care that you're on that. And that's what I cared about. Yeah. I don't know. I keep saying I don't know. That's like um that's like one of my filler words or it's like interesting. But but that's besides the point. Um there say it. Uh, I think I think more games should overbuff things. I'm going to be honest, controversial take. I'm going to say it. I think the fact that like you know I don't I don't know a perk. I don't have a not here. He's there. There he is. But like, um, I don't know. I don't know, a perk that's like underpowered or something. Um, can't say self-care. Blood Warden? I don't know. It's like, let's say Blood Warden. Screw it. Fuck it. Blood Warden. Even though that's a really controversial perk that if you break, you break the game for a long time and kill the meta. Um. But like, you know, I think it should be okay to like overtune and buff some perks. You know, let them let the meta like find itself. You know. Someone someone talked about that way on Smite is like you'd rather have everything buffed 
than like everything underpowered. Um, and the idea behind that is like as soon as everything's within like competitive range, if everything's OP, then you can start breaking it back down. You know, okay, you know, you can then go, okay, you know, thanatophobia. Thanatophobia is a bit OP right now. You go, okay, well, how do we tone it down in relative to like sloppy? You know, because sloppy's also like in a great place. So how do we make it like relative to that, or do can we like gut it a bit and then like sloppy becomes like the secondary option or the replacement, or does it become more situational? Like that's that's how I would like it. You know, I think there's some perks that would like really do well like that. That you know might want a small buffer rework that like becomes situational. Iron Maiden I think is a great like idea. You know, there, there are some builds that utilize Iron Maiden to hell and back, and it shows. And they're really cool and great builds. But it's not in every build, which is okay. I just think, like, some perks need to be, you know... We, sh we shouldn't be afraid of buffing a shit ton of perks. Or making one or two perks accidentally OP. You know? Does it become annoying? Yeah. It becomes super annoying. But the idea is, how do you know what's... You know, you don't know what's good until you, you know, try it. Okay, this Fang Mid's dead. Because she broke Haunted Ground, and that's what it is, not Hex Booby Trap. Though that sounds like a fun, uh... A fun perk. You know? I like Dying Light. I think... I like using a bunch of these weirder perks and trying to find a way to make them all work. Now, do I get punished? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'll get punished. But I think that's okay. I think... I just don't think we should, like, kill creativity when it comes to, like, trying to use unique perks. That's fine. I'll trade that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, plunder? Not plunder. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, like, some perks should... You know, we shouldn't be afraid to buff some of the weirder perks. That's all. You know, some of those perks need love, should get love. You know, oh, cool DC. I'm gonna step away just so they can proc it so I can get a Mori. Cause I'm gonna be toxic. Like Brittany. There we go, cool. I get my Mori. You know, like what they did with the... Uh, And that's mine. Cool. And I'll get one shot. They realize that uh, Haunted Grounds is on there. I don't know, I like Mori's. I understand they're toxic, but it's like, I like the animation. I think there's something cool about an alternate kill animation. And I like bringing them. And I get it. I understand why they're like toxic and all that. But it's like, I'm not saying to sit here and like teabag over your body. I, I'm trying to give up being toxic. For the most part. I mean, I get it. As a game, you want to sit back, relax, have fun. And that's half the reason why people like to play Spirit. And stuff like that. You know, but I think also... I don't know. I don't want to be ranty. And that was... Okay. They've stopped that officially. That was my one and done. That's fine. Um, no, but I had a rant a while ago that I didn't upload it. But it was similar to, I think, what Ots had, uh, I think today on the 27th? Or was it a few days ago? I don't know. But the idea is, like, the only way to stop this toxicity is to, like, we need to stop being toxic ourselves. Ah! You know, so, like, you don't like spirit being played, or you don't like, you know, the, these really, like, hard-to-play counter killers, like, don't be such a jerk. You know, and that goes for the killers, too. Like, neither side is innocent, obviously. It's, it's a pretty toxic game on all sides. Um... But I think we also need to understand, like, as a community, that, like, Moris are fun for some people. And that's okay. And sometimes Insta Toolboxes and Gen Rushing are fun for others. We just need to not... 
how do you say? Be so in your face when it comes about winning. Or certain things. Eh, GG. That's fine. Thought someone had to quit. You know, because that's the, what that's what fuels the cycle, I, I, I like to think. You know, this whole cycle of, like... Of, uh... Of, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna, sm you know, so lo something's low-key, we're gonna teabag at the egg, and it's like, go next. You know, we sit here and wonder, it's like, oh, I wonder why these, these queues are five or ten minutes. You know, or why no one wants to play killer. It's like, maybe, maybe you're the reason why. You know? Or maybe your friend is, you know? And it's, it's fun to get cocky and toxic every once in a while. Like, I get it. You know, it's, it's great to have our egos, but... There's people on the other side of this game, too. Come on. We... We should respect each other to an extent. You know, and understand that some people have bad days, some people have great days. And now just... Try not to be too toxic, I guess. But, what the hell did I know? I just played a Mori in this game. But, until then, see y'all later.